Hello there guys, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time we tried to do the Titan Cup, didn't go so well. And then we did the final gummy mission of the game, which is kind of crazy to think about. Right now, we're back in Twilight Town. Something isn't quite right with it though. And we are probably gonna go head out to the mansion now to figure out exactly what is going on. Although first we have to go through the woods. <laughs> um, I think there are some chests in here that we missed? I can't really remember. Oh yeah, indeed there are. It has been uh, quite a while since we were last to Twilight Town and even then we didn't really stay for that long, we didn't really do that much, so there will be a lot of chests and puzzle pieces here for us to collect. Okay. And also uh, there's gonna be lots of nobodies in here. <laughs> Fair warning. Oh, hello there. Thank you very much, Donald. You were actually useful for once. What is this? <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to open this one, and I think that's all the uh, all the chests in here. I believe it. at least the ones that are around the walls. Hopefully, there isn't one hiding at the base of a tree or something, but. Okay, I think we got all of them, hopefully. Anyway, let's head on. Hey, are you alright? What happened? We came here looking for Kyrie. Then those white things attacked us. You're going to be careful. Yeah, you guys didn't have to go and do that. Of course we did. Kyrie's our friend too, you know. You're right. You know, I never thought of it like that before. Word is, this mansion gets a lot of really strange visitors. We thought this place might be the gateway to some kind of alternate Twilight Town. What do you mean, alternate Twilight Town? Hey, Goofy, do you think we could see that crystal of yours? I made that pouch myself, and I still have it. So, there shouldn't be two of them here. And this is the trophy Cypher gave you. You left it behind, remember? It's the only one of its kind. Same for the crystals. Red, blue... Yellow, green, only one of each color. But you've got your own. So, where'd you get it? Um... The pouch is from the king. When he gave us money for the train ride, he gave us the crystal too. But then, where did the king get it? See, there's gotta be another town out there like this one. That would explain how the king got that pouch in the crystal. Everything makes sense. It does? That other town must be where whatever's missing from here went. Like Kyrie. I get it. Okay, so this fight we actually get to fight alongside Mickey, which is pretty cool because usually Mickey's just kind of there to help bail us out from uh, dying in really hard boss battles. <laughs> but uh, no, he's here. And if I remember correctly, there'll just be kind of, yeah, waves upon waves of nobodies. Shouldn't have any issues with them though. Not to mention, I mean, like, you know. Look at the experience we're gaining for this. This is crazy. I love it. Oh my gosh, 
these guys are so annoying. They're so low down to the ground. There we go. Hello there. Or are these the assassins? Or are these the samurais? I can't really remember the nobody names anymore. I used to know them off by heart. I used to know the numbers of Organization 13 off by heart. But uh, it's been a while. Right, another one. The king is just obliterating. Alright, so we should be leveling up this battle, which is really good. From the looks of it. Actually, if this is the last heart, nobody, rather. Maybe not. Well, well, I mean, you know, nearly there. And we got our maximum HP increase. That's pretty good. I got something to tell you. I found out where Ansem is. Ansem the Wise. The real Ansem. He snuck into Organization 13's stronghold. And we've figured out where Kyrie is. I'm pretty sure we're right. But why'd you all come here? Someone gave us a clue. Who? Well, your majesty, Sora thinks it might have been Riku. It's just a feeling I had. Well, if that's what you think, then it's probably right. You mean Riku's okay? If that's what you think. I've waited long enough, your majesty. Tell me what you know. It's not for me to say. But your majesty, why? I don't want to break my promise. You made a promise to Riku? So he's okay. I can see him again. Huh? Who's Riku? My best friend. That's it. Your Majesty? You got the pouch with the crystal from Riku, didn't you? And you promised not to tell, right? Gosh, guys. That's enough! Yeah. Let's go. Kairi. Riku. We're on our way. Okay, so we get to explore around here again. I think we've collected the treasure chest from outside. Can we reach that one now? I don't think we can. Not just yet. Oh well. Uh, let's head on in then. There's got to be a computer somewhere. A computer? Do you think it's connected to that other Twilight Town? It might be. And there should be a way into the Realm of Darkness there. Riku told you that, didn't he? Please, Sora, I made a promise. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Hey, stop pestering the king. Right, sorry. Okay, so this one's really easy to get. But yeah, as I was saying last episode about kind of like the mirror image of Twilight Town, Roxas had a chest over here versus we have a chest over here. Just little things like that that kind of make it interesting. I don't think we can reach that puzzle piece just yet, unfortunately. Mithril stone. Uh, open. And can we get in here just yet? Oh, awesome, we can. Okay, so Sora does not have any reaction to this, apparently. Like, obviously, this is kind of important stuff in here. But all he cares about is the puzzle piece on the table, and that's it. Like, look, that's obviously, like, come on. <laughs> Are you okay, Goofy? What are you- Goofy, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, okay. Anyways. We will be coming back here, um... To do a little bit of actually grinding for a very specific, uh... Form, drive form coming up, but not- not just yet. Yeah. Gotta get through story stuff first. <laughs> Alright, and this is already open. Unlike Roxas, we didn't have to open it. Woo! Forgot about you guys. Yeah. 
Defense increase, maximum AP increase. Nice. Oh gosh, those things going down the stairs always creep me out. <laughs> Alright, let's try and get you guys all together here. Look at that, that's beautiful. I love doing that. <laughs> Oops, hello there. Oh, wait a minute. Derp, I think we forgot a room up here. And I don't want to uh, forget it again, because I don't think Roxas could get in here, but I'm pretty sure Sora can. Yeah, alright, good. Glad I didn't forget about that. Okay, so this is the room right at the beginning of the game. We saw a conversation between um, that kind of like just... I don't even remember what he looked like. The hooded, I guess, kind of man. And uh, Diz. What we'll come to call him. And uh, yeah, we're actually able to get in here. Granted, they didn't show the treasure chest during the puzzle pieces. <laughs> during the puzzle pieces? During the cutscenes, I was thinking of puzzle pieces. Oh my goodness. How can you tell when I am tired? <laughs> uh, Krista starts derping. Okay. Let's head back out, and now let's head forward. That puzzle piece up there, speaking of them, is actually going to bother me. What's wrong? I can't go any further without a password. Do you have any idea what the password might be? Mm. Well, we only got this photo. <laughs> yeah, the one Donald ate up. It was in the box right next to the photo. Hey, that's it. And some the wise loved ice cream. Okay, what's the name of the flavor? Okay, uh, is there anything in here? No? Alright, let's talk to you then. Make sure you get it right, it won't take an incorrect password. Sky sugar ice cream, sea salt ice cream, or liver pepper ice cream. Definitely sees all the ice cream it's been mentioned a good number of times throughout this entire game, so it's kind of just hinted at so heavily you have to get it. It worked! Let's go. We'll be here to hold down the fort. Say hi to Kyrie. You bet. Oh gosh, I don't want to go in there. I know what happens. Oh gosh, okay. Let me save super quick just that I'm ready. And uh, fun fact by the way, I have actually had sea salt ice cream IRL. I've made it and I really, really do actually like it. It's quite yummy. It's, it's very different, <laughs> I will say that much. Okay, let's do it. Are we back in the same place? Yeah! 
This is the other Twilight Town. Roxas's Twilight Town. There's gotta be an entrance into the Dark Realm somewhere. Let's split up. Secret answer from report 10. Didn't even have to fight a boss that time. Okay. So I I need that. Uh, and I think that's just about all. I don't think you can actually... Yeah, you don't go up there. Okay. Let's head in here and get the show on the road. There. This is it. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I I don't I don't like this little part coming up. I want that to be known beforehand. <laughs> What is this place? Well, which way should we go? Riku! Kairi! Defeat all the nobodies. Alright, so this is a scripted fight. I think it's gonna end a certain portion into it, but that's okay. It's all experience gained anyway. Good thing about Nobase though, they just drop a lot of uh, magic orbs so I can just keep my magic replenished. It's no use! Don't stop moving, or the darkness will overtake you. Get going! Why? Don't ask, just do it! You okay? I kidnapped Kairi, but she got away from me. After that, Syx caught her. He's a member of Organization 13. Syx, got it memorized? Now go save her! Leave us alone! Okay, so Axel is going to be fighting with us. This is always interesting. As you can see though, Axel kind of looks very worn out compared to when we fought him as Roxas the first what, two times? <laughs> if you see him, like, look at him, he's hunched over. He's not doing so hot. <laughs> Also, I never understood this. Where is Mickey during this? Because he entered in with us, and then he's going to be with us on the other side. I never ever understood this whole thing. It's like they forgot. Oh gosh, Axel's being evil. Not really, to us, I mean. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd land the finishing kill, that'd be funny. Slap shot, nice. Feeling a little regret? Nah, 
I can handle these punks. <laughs> Watch this. You're fading away. Well, that's what happens when you put your whole being into an attack. You know what I mean? Not that nobody's actually have beings, right? Anyway, I digress. Go. Find Kyrie. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry for what I did to her. When we find her, you can tell her that yourself. Think I'll pass. My heart just wouldn't be in it, you know? I haven't got one. <laughs> Axel, what were you trying to do? I wanted to see Roxas. He was the only one I liked. He made me feel like I had a heart. It's kind of funny you make me feel the same Kyrie's in the castle dungeon now go Axel Bond of Flame enhances magic to increase damage dealt with fire based attacks. That can be useful during certain bosses, but uh but yeah, I don't I don't like that moment because I really like Axel. He's a favorite character of mine. He actually was supposed to die much, much earlier in the game after uh the first or the second fight with Roxas. But apparently the creators and the developers liked him so much that they just kind of kept him on for the rest of the game. And he's become a lot of people's favorite character, I think. So <laughs> it kind of makes sense. This leads to... Ah, uh, come on, let's get going! The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute. How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. Then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart. And that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. Thank you. 
Axel said Kyrie's in the dungeon. Then we better find a way to get to that castle. All right, so this is the world that never was. I like it. I find it to be a rather interesting, uh, interesting world and very, very cool final world. It also has a lot of, uh, a lot of nobodies for us to fight. Um, all right, so we did get that new Keyblade, wherever it was, and there's also these that are new. Oh, uh, there it is. We're not going to equip it or anything just yet. I just wanted to make sure. It was, uh, not shown as new. <laughs> Alright, so, you guys, I think I am gonna have to end this episode here. When we return, we're gonna be starting our trek into the final world of this game. That does not mean it's necessarily the end of the Let's Play, though. I have a lot of end-game content, and actually post-game content, that we have to go through first. But, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.